And y'all be sitting up saying, oh, well, even if you get married, you could still end up a single mother. Ho, are you slow? You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Is, is something wrong with you? The whole point is wanting to be married first. Y'all be acting like people get married, the divorce be two months later. <laughs> it, it, it don't be. I don't care what y'all try to normalize. I want a ring before I lay down on a table and have a baby for a man. Yep. And all the, oh, well, marriage is too big of a commitment. But you'd rather lay down on a table and push out a whole human being that you could possibly by doing. And that, that's not too much. I don't care what any baby mama say. Having to raise your kids by yourself is not a flex. And this is coming from a single mother. Listen to your sister. Because when we look at modern women, we have to understand that modern women are destroying not only the dating community, but the black community. And as a black person, this, this is just something that we need to address as a community because when we look at how the black community is and how the black community works women and men both are part of that community <laughs> mama deceive you into believing that being a single mother is more convenient than being a wife and a baby mama is not a flex and i said what i said well i'd rather be a baby mama than be a miserable wife girl majority of the women that be saying that she ain't never been a wife a day in her life i have just come across this post on social media revealing that ebony k williams is pregnant with her first child right and see for those of you who know this platform and have been following me for any amount of time, I'm going to pull up one of my favorite memes and shout out to the creator of this meme. Um, follow him on Twitter. If you have a Twitter, follow him on Twitter at BM or the Primes. Black man or the Primes. I want you to follow him on Twitter because this meme is hilarious and it's right. See, th this, this is what we're talking about. This is one of my favorite memes because it's so true. And if you've been following this channel any amount of time, this is one of my favorite memes because it encapsulates what we're going through as black people. Let's, let's read it. A black man approaches a black woman. Shout out to the creator of this meme. Can I get your number? Lame ass in. I'm a screen in on Pyro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a screen. I'm a screen in on Pyro. Oh, Danny. Exactly. I'm pregnant. Where the where the hoes at on Pyro? <laughs> this is one of my favorite memes. Follow this guy on Twitter. He created this meme. Follow him on Twitter. Where the hoes at on Pyro? Mentor my kids. DF, go ask their pumps. And then black women will say, black men, please, I beg you, be a mentor. These boys out here, they're hurting. They need you. Absolutely not. It is not our job as a black man to mentor children that are not ours. It's not our job. 
follow her on Twitter as well. If you have Twitter, give her a follow. This is what this show is about. Because this is not only a woman, this is a black woman calling out other black women for their dating habits. And it's rare to see this. So any black woman that I come across that follows the, the good deeds of calling other women out, you're automatically getting a follow from me because it's rare. So if you have Twitter, follow her, tell her I sent you, but please give her a follow because this tweet is the reason why I'm doing this show today. God forbid that our type of men change. Well, isn't that convenient? You liked hood in words all your life. Hood in words all your life. But now that you want to get married, your type changes. You don't find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious. To the good men who have great things going on for themselves. Exactly. All y'all will do is cheat on these good men with the hood in words. She said it, not me. But the truth is the truth, no matter no matter what, you just want to take advantage of them for stability. That is true. You just want to take advantage of them for stability. You don't want a good guy. You want a Pookie or a Ray Ray. That is what you want. And see, this is pretty much proof. Again, let's look at this. Nah, I've been with enough drug dealers and hood dudes. They're fun, but not husband material. I'm at that stage in my life where I want to get married. And a black man with a good legal job who doesn't have to watch his back is the kind of man I want to settle down with. Notice, notice what she's saying. I want to settle down with this type of man. She didn't say I wanted to settle down with the Pookie. See, you give your best years to Pookies and Ray Rays. But then you want to settle down with a decent guy who works a decent job. Yep. And see, then you say things like this. I'm not helping a dude build his money. He has to be a made man already. And then you say where the hood ends at. See, this is the thing. If you want to date a hood guy, date a hood guy. But you have to deal with the consequences of dating a hood guy. And see, black women especially, y'all don't understand what it's like to date a hood guy. Y'all don't know what it's like to date a hood guy, marry a hood guy, or even be with a hood guy. Y'all just date hood guys just to date hood guys. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to get out of here. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content, you're going to see me at the end screen and click on the next video where you'll see me. And until the next video, peace. Thank <laughs> you.